A Chinese J-20 stealth fighter recently flew through the highly monitored Tsushima Strait, an airspace under constant surveillance by Japan, South Korea, and U.S. military systems. Strangely, no official alerts, reports, or interceptions followed. Only China's state media hinted at the event. Was this a milestone for stealth technology or a quiet signal to the world? Let's explore the flight, its implications, and what it reveals about modern aerospace dynamics in East Asia. Was the J-20 undetected? The core of the story lies in one question. Did the J-20 truly pass through the Tsushima Strait without being detected? The J-20, officially known as the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, is China's most advanced stealth fighter. It was developed by the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, and introduced into service in 2017. The aircraft is designed for low observability, with radar-absorbing materials, internal weapons bays, and a sleek airframe that minimizes radar reflection. According to a segment broadcast by Chinese state media CCTV in July 2025, the J-20 was seen flying over both the Bashi Channel and the Tsushima Strait. No date, exact location, or operational context was provided, leaving room for speculation. The Tsushima Strait is a narrow international waterway located between South Korea and Japan. It connects the East China Sea to the Sea of Japan and is one of the most heavily monitored air and sea routes in the region. Japan's Self-Defense Forces, South Korea's military, and the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command all operate advanced radar systems and air defense networks that constantly monitor this corridor. Systems like Japan's J-FPS-5 radar, South Korea's Green Pine and TPS, 880K, and U.S. Aegis-equipped ships in the region are capable of tracking a wide range of aerial activities. Despite this, no official statement was made regarding the J-20's passage. This silence leads to two main possibilities. Either the aircraft went undetected, or it was detected but not publicly acknowledged. If undetected, it would represent a major validation of China's stealth technology, suggesting the J-20 can bypass even advanced detection systems. If detected but not disclosed, it may indicate a strategic decision by neighboring countries to avoid escalating public concerns or drawing attention to surveillance capabilities. Either way, the incident shows the growing significance of stealth aircraft in modern defense strategies, where visibility and tracking are no longer guaranteed, even in the most secure airspaces. Why the timing and location matter flying the J-20 through the Tsushima Strait wasn't random. This region has both strategic and symbolic importance. Geographically, the strait lies between South Korea and Japan, linking two key zones, the Sea of Japan and the East China Sea. It is not just a busy commercial shipping route, but also a highly sensitive airspace, constantly monitored due to regional tensions and competing interests. The fact that the flight occurred over this particular corridor is crucial. It sends a message, whether intended or not, about operational reach and technological confidence. The CCTV report grouped this flight with another one over the Bashi Channel, which sits between Taiwan and the Philippines. This suggests a pattern, high-value stealth aircraft operating in international but closely monitored zones. The CCTV footage showed the J-20 flying solo or in pairs without identifying the date, exact path, or accompanying units. This ambiguity adds to the mystique while allowing room for interpretation. These flights appear to be peacetime operations, likely conducted as part of routine long-range patrols or training missions though the routes and visibility make them anything but ordinary. Publicizing these missions without confrontation or fanfare could serve multiple purposes. Domestically, it bolsters confidence in national aerospace capabilities. Internationally, it may signal that the aircraft is capable of operating beyond China's immediate periphery with precision and minimal footprint. Additionally, the broadcast may be a subtle challenge to existing assumptions about airspace awareness. If countries like Japan and South Korea did not respond publicly, the implication could be that they were unaware or that they chose not to respond, potentially to avoid drawing attention or acknowledging gaps in detection. The use of state media to reveal such operations also provides plausible deniability. By avoiding formal military announcements, the event remains ambiguous. This kind of strategic communication allows for demonstration without direct confrontation. 
In short, the timing and location of the J-20's flight seemed carefully chosen. The Tsushima Strait is not just another flight path. It's a high-stakes corridor, and navigating it without triggering responses from neighboring defense systems speaks volumes about both capability and intent. How this affects regional stability and planning the implications of the J-20's reported flight through the Tsushima Strait go beyond technical performance. They touch on the broader landscape of regional security, detection infrastructure, and future planning. For Japan, the flight raises questions about airspace monitoring capabilities. Japan's defense systems include advanced early warning aircraft, long-range radar installations, and a network of surface-to-air missile sites. The lack of a public response may indicate that the event was either missed or intentionally downplayed. In either case, it creates uncertainty regarding the readiness and transparency of regional monitoring. South Korea faces a similar challenge. With a dense radar network and integrated air defense, including the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense (THAAD) system and Korean Air and Missile Defense (KMD), the country is equipped to track various airborne activities. However, Stealth aircraft reduce reaction time by minimizing radar visibility, and any gap in response could prompt reassessment of tracking protocols and technology upgrades. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command plays a central role in maintaining air and maritime security in the region. With multiple bases across Japan, South Korea, and nearby islands, as well as naval assets equipped with the Aegis system, the U.S. typically tracks aircraft transiting strategic corridors. The absence of a response could mean detection occurred but was not shared publicly, perhaps to avoid escalating attention or revealing the limits of current capabilities. The event highlights a growing trend. The use of advanced aircraft in carefully selected areas to test the boundaries of detection and response. These actions can inform future defense planning, training exercises, and international cooperation. The development and deployment of stealth aircraft like the J, 20 represent a shift in focus toward low observable technology, longer operational ranges, and precise targeting. Regional planners may need to adapt strategies, including enhancing radar sensitivity, increasing data sharing between allies, and investing in counter-stealth technologies such as passive radar or space-based sensors. Moreover, these flights could encourage closer regional collaboration. Joint tracking exercises, real-time alert systems, and open communication between defense agencies might help reduce uncertainty and ensure consistent monitoring of strategic airspaces. Ultimately, the J-20's appearance in the Tsushima Strait is more than an isolated flight. It prompts serious discussions about transparency, capability, and the evolving dynamics of airspace monitoring in East Asia. A new era in stealth operations? The J-20's silent passage through the Tsushima Strait, whether fully undetected or quietly acknowledged, is a defining moment. It underscores the technological leap in stealth aviation and the need for adaptive responses by nations responsible for monitoring critical air corridors. As aircraft capabilities grow, so must the systems designed to track them, or the skies above East Asia could become a lot more unpredictable.